few members of the general public study patents, although patents are often mentioned a lot in the media. If they read chapter one as a standalone chapter, they'll get a clear idea of what patents are all about. They will see that patents are a very valuable source of information, accurate and true information, which will describe how a lot of inventions came about and which are very relevant to the world we live in in the 21st century. So the title of the book is 100 Patents That Shaped the Modern World and what I'm really trying to show is how these patents, some which date back many years, affect the world we live in in the 21st century. But I've concentrated in the book on 100 inventions and patents represent inventions and I've, gone, I've, I've laid them out on a timeline. So the first invention dates from the 1850s, the electric telegraph in Moscow, and the later patents, um, the most recent ones, include, for example, gene editing and video streaming. I'd just like to mention six key inventions in the book. The triode, invented in 1907, which allowed amplification of radio signals. Uh, gene editing, a very modern invention in life sciences. Lithium-ion batteries from the 1970s, which are very relevant today in our mobile world. Monoclonal antibodies for treating diseases. Uh, the development of transistors, which led to the miniaturization of devices we see all around us. Another example is the initial work on programmable, programmable stored memory computers, which was developed in the late 1940s. This used um, diode valves, which I mentioned in the book, but the key technology which, which led to the type of computers we see today was actually developed in the 1940s. If readers want to know how all the technologies came about in the digital world, if they look at the, some of the inventions, they'll get a clearer idea.